How is he? Well, he's sort of wondering why you haven't told your parents that the wedding's off. <sighs> well, I don't know. I'm, I'm still hoping for a miracle, I suppose. I mean, how could he think that my father and I would do such a thing? I only minored in psych, you understand. But uh, maybe Michael couldn't commit to this marriage, so he created a delusion, produced an unconscious psychosomatic manifestation of, of, I'm better with food. Okay, you're Michael. You're in a fancy French restaurant and you order the creme brulee for dessert. It's beautiful, it's sweet, it's irritatingly perfect. And suddenly, Michael realizes he doesn't want creme brulee. He wants something else. What does he want? Jello. Jello? Why does he want jello? Because he's comfortable with jello. <laughs> jello makes him comfortable. <laughs> now, I realize compared to creme brulee, it's jello, but maybe that's what he needs. I could be jello. No. <laughs> creme brulee can never be jello. You could never be jello. You have to be jello. You're never gonna be jello. Now, you need to come clean with your parents because if you're waiting for that do you take this man part, it's considered poor form. I love him. And whatever delusions I drove Michael to, there's truth at the heart of it. You see, I want him to work for my father. I want to stay in school and I want a life of my own. Please tell him that it's my fault and that I love him. You're the only person that I trust. 